Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina. If you're new, how's everyone doing? Today is Thursday, December the 14th and I wanted to do a solo date vlog. That's right, I'm going all out today for my solo date vlog and I'm not like talking about like just going out and about running your errands by yourself. That's not really solo dating. Solo dating is like going out to eat by yourself, romanticizing your date, being present in the moment and your surroundings. So I wanted to plan a little day for myself today. I made myself a cup of coffee and we're gonna get ready to head to a coffee shop to, you know, just relax, get a cup of coffee. The place is called Artifact Coffee and they have a really good s'mores latte for the holidays and I've been wanting to try it and uh, that will be my second cup of coffee but we'll also get some lunch. I'm just gonna enjoy the moment and be present with myself. Um, maybe do some editing on my computer just so I can get some stuff done to post for you guys. So I'm having a little cup of coffee that I just made and I'm gonna get ready now, put a little bit of makeup. I'm not putting makeup for uh, others, I'm doing it for myself. It makes me feel better whenever I wake up and, you know, put myself together. And then I also book myself a yoga class. I know it's crazy, I never go to yoga classes. But I wanted to try out this yoga place because this uh, hairstylist that I went to the other day uh, told me about it, that she teaches the class. And I was like, you know what? Let me try out yoga. I've done it before, but like I never taken it serious. And I want to try out new things, uh, not just working out the gym, like, you know, change it up a little bit in my routine so I don't get bored. So I'm going to do that class at 4 p.m. or 4.30 p.m., something like that. I come back from the coffee shop, get ready for the yoga sculpt class. That's what it's called. Then we're going to come back, shower, freshen up, look cute and put together a look so um, I can go on a solo day. I'm thinking of like either pizza or Italian. There's a few options around my house of places that we can go to. And you know, like I'm gonna dress up like as if I was going to go on a date with someone, but obviously I'm not. I'm just dressing up for myself because why not? You have to put yourself together and not just for others, but for myself. So we're gonna look cute. We're gonna put an outfit together and I'm just gonna show up to the restaurant and get some dinner by myself. I know it's a little frightening for uh, some people to do that and intimidating because you know people sometimes you think they're judging you because you're by yourself but guess what? Some people are admiring you as well because you are putting yourself out there. It's gonna help you feel empowered and then you can just go out and about and be confident in your next relationship and you know learn to love yourself and others and it's just gonna make you more empowered so we're gonna um finish getting ready now and put some makeup on i already started my makeup process but we're gonna put some blush and let's get this things rolling some blush and you know solo dating is not just for uh single people it's also for people in relationships you have to uh, learn to love yourself if you want to be in a relationship with someone else and also if you already are in a relationship with somebody to take care of yourself and your own needs and take yourself out to eat treat yourself take yourself to go shopping get yourself something cute it helps you become more confident and a stronger person so if you already are in a relationship with a girlfriend you have a boyfriend whatever and they're like why are you taking yourself on a solo date and you say because i can and i want to spend time by myself and if they don't respect that then bye you know, it can be embarrassing to take yourself out on a date by yourself and you think people are judging you but you have to put yourself out there um, to build a better connection with yourself, know who you are. For example, um, this past fall, I went to audition to New York City 
for a um, modeling gig that I would never ever thought of doing in my life but I did it just because it made me feel better not with the um, goal of making it to the fashion show but also to learn in the process um, how to be more independent and less afraid of doing things and putting myself out there so yes I'm a little scared to go out tonight to dinner by myself because I'm gonna be all dressed up and looking cute and they're probably gonna try to sit me at the bar but I'm gonna see if I can get a table because that's what they do you're by yourself and they're like oh you want a table or you want to sit at the bar and I'm gonna be like I want a table but maybe I'll sit at the bar too who knows uh, I don't really care I walk in and people are watching me they don't really know me so it doesn't really matter what they're if they're judging me or not they're probably not even judging you they're just like looking at you what you're wearing who knows it's not just it's all just mental that you might think they're just like judging you but they're not they really don't care what you're doing they have their own problems we all have our own issues so like I said I put myself out there and I went to the audition I didn't make it to the modeling gig you can watch that on my other vlog um I think it's the New York City fashion blog and um, but you know maybe I'll do it again in the future who knows I'm not like thinking I'm a supermodel here but like you can literally do whatever you want if you put your head and mind and soul into it like when I went to nursing school I always thought it was so hard and impossible but I did it I told myself I would be a registered nurse and I did it so ultimately I wanted to make this vlog so that I can show you that it's not embarrassing at all to go out on solo dates and take yourself on solo dates because you know you are putting yourself out there becoming more empowered and confident in yourself and you are gaining new experiences and appreciating the surroundings being present in the moment so tonight when i go out to eat and all the things that i'm gonna do throughout this vlog i'm gonna you know be present and try to stay away from my phone as much as i can so let's finish getting ready and then we're gonna put an outfit together because I don't want to wear another gym set again uh, in my blog. I'm always wearing gym sets and I want to put an outfit together to look cute and just not look basic. But let's finish getting ready. And, uh, this beautiful top is from um, Banana Republic. My Celine Bell, my pants that I show you already in my last vlog from Banana Republic. I wish I could show you like a full view but it's hard because no one's here to help me vlog so it is what it is and then i'm gonna pair it with um this beautiful coat let me see if i can move this here then i'm gonna pair it with this beautiful coat from banana republic i don't even know what the weather is like outside to be honest let me see before put too much on you know you never know 42 okay not too cold but it's not too bad i can wear my coat um so i also have this scarf from ralph lauren but i don't know guys i think it's too much but it goes with the look so since we want to look nice for ourselves we might just put it on what do you guys think I think so, right? Does it go? I don't know, like, do you do it inside or outside? I don't know, but I think you get the hang of it. And then, also my new bag from Ralph Lauren. I put my um, MacBook Air in here, it fits in here, insane. And I put all my stuff. What do you guys think? Is this a look? I could fix this a little better, but you get the hang of it. But let's go because I'm hungry. I haven't had any breakfast yet. I only had one cup of coffee and it's almost noon. So let's go get some food.
Guys, I need a moment for my boots. I just got these boots a month ago from Mesa Margiela. It's from the website Forward, um, the sister website from Revolve. And how cute are they? Like, I know it's not for everyone, but I had to show it to you. This is crazy that, you know, that these boots exist. They are so gorgeous. For me, I don't know, it's not for everybody else, obviously, but I just wanted to show it to you. And I can only wear this with pants unless I buy tights especially for these shoes. Because I have to buy socks that are especially for these shoes. I found them on Amazon. But I can only wear them with pants for now because I don't have tights that will fit them, if you understand what, I, what I'm trying to tell you. But here they are. They're gorgeous. First time wearing them. I'm so excited with... Uh, this beautiful pants from Banana Republic. Chicken salad sandwich, it comes with some veggies and the famous s'more latte. This place is called Artifact Coffee, and this is a special only for the holidays. So it looks amazing, and some hot sauce from here. And we're about to eat, enjoying this beautiful view. Gonna try to stay off my phone as much as I can. I am done at the cafe. I had such an amazing time. I was able to enjoy my food, you know, not be on my phone the entire time. I was just editing, people watching, enjoying everyone's outfits. I just love doing that, just spending time by myself. And you know, I feel better. I finished editing my video that is going up on my YouTube channel. It's probably up by now. I had a low first unboxing video. So now I have decided last minute that we're gonna check out the restoration hardware outlet because they called me yesterday telling me that they had a mirror, the Louis Philip mirror. It's like a gilt mirror that um they didn't have back in the days but they have it in and I put my name on the list but I think it's too big for my house and I already have one in my room so we're gonna check it out and see if maybe like it's too big or what they're talking about and just to also check out some other things I need either like a floor lamp or a table lamp and I don't have either of those for, for my upstairs so we're gonna go see if they have one and also check out the mirror that they called me about just to look at it and see because I think it's too tall for my house. Um, the measurements are a little off, it's too big, it's more for like a mansion I think. But we'll check it out and see. Um, so far I had a great time spending time at the cafe. So let's go check it out and then we're gonna run to my house to get ready for this yoga class. I have also learned that spending time by yourself makes you um, grow as a person and you know, learn that people need to respect your boundaries. I'm not dating at the moment, but like whenever I meet guys and I realize that they're not worth my time and my energy, I just cut them off quick. Like if I see a red flag, I'll just cut them off because honestly, I, I'm i okay by myself. I don't need to waste my time or energy on someone else. And if they're already giving me red flags in the beginning of the relationship, I don't want to deal with that. And I just cut them off, to be honest. So that's one of the things that has helped me grow. But we are going to get out of here and go look at some furniture.
guys look at this center table so beautiful with this chocolate sofa 1000 i definitely need um nightstand this one is half off 530 not bad but i wish the handles were gold because my room most of the stuff that i have is gold this bench is so cute for the bottom of your bed but it's so pricey it's 2900 here in the outlet guys here's the mirror wow so beautiful but it's too big for my house so tall it's like 110 inches or maybe more 10 feet wow so gorgeous and she said it's only a thousand dollars it's like two two of me okay so it's 114 inches by 55 guys here is a lamp that would go perfectly in my room and i think i might get it but this shade i don't know it's like gray i guess it doesn't matter because this goes on top so the lamp is 330 not bad for this lamp and the shade is 130 guys i put my gym outfit on and we're heading to yoga's cult uh, i'm a little nervous because i'm not gonna lie i'm tired from all the running around and last night i did not have the best sleep so we're gonna power through this workout um you know because i hate places when the workouts are too intense and you're just like running for air and hopefully this is not like that um like i said my hairstylist one of them she teaches a class so hopefully she's a little um light on us because to be honest i don't have that much energy already so i took my c4 just now and we are heading and Pray for me. Here we are. So let's take a deep in. One, go back, exhale, let it all go for four, three, two, one. Inhale, look at the top of the mat. I just got home I'm all sweaty I am so happy that I ended up doing the workout because honestly I was about to cancel it last minute but she is new to core power yoga and she did amazing I was so relaxed the music was so good I love when I take classes and the music is so therapeutic 
but now I need to get ready for dinner. I have all the energy now. I honestly was so tired um, after running around all morning that I almost canceled the class and I am so happy that I didn't. Class was like hot yoga and it felt so good. All my stress that I had in me was released after the class and now I can finally just come home, shower, and go get some nice dinner because to be honest i am so freaking hungry i cannot wait to eat so i'm gonna shower real quick and get ready here is my look i did this so quick and i did a sleek hair back style because to be honest i was sweaty and i didn't have time to wash my hair i'm wearing my new um vintage dior earrings that i got from poshmark how gorgeous are they and this is my quick makeup and this top is from Revolve. I forgot where I got it from, but I'll link it below if I can. Wearing again my Celine belt, my baggy jeans with my uh, Stuart Witzman heels, as you can see. A little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because now I'm like, oh my God, I have to walk in there by myself. I haven't really had solo dinners at nighttime like this at like cute restaurants. I don't think ever, only once in your city. All about confidence and just gonna enjoy myself, get some pizza, get a glass of wine, relax, people watch, and just enjoy myself. I'm um, so excited to be honest, but nervous of course, but let's go. Guys, we made it to Verde Pizza Napolitana. So excited because I'm so hungry. We made it to Verde. Here's the menu. I'm gonna get a Sauvignon Blanc. Probably this one, I guess. That's what Sauvignon Blanc means. But I don't know what apps I'm gonna get. I think this is just drink. Appetizers are up here, I think. Mussels. Shrimp with an not really sure, but definitely getting a salad. I definitely want a salad. I think last time I had the rustica. That one's really good. Mm -hmm. I ordered a salad rustica. It comes with olives. And I think this is prosciutto. I'm not really sure. But it has lemon juice. So good. Try it with some bread over there. It looks so good. I cannot wait to try this. Guys, I got the Buffalina pizza. It has mozzarella, tomatoes. I honestly don't know what else, but it looks amazing. So we're gonna eat it and see. safely I wanted to tell you about my uh, solo day uh, what happened so I walked into the restaurant half an hour early from my reservation I made a reservation for 8 30 p.m. and I showed up at 8 and as soon as I walked in I saw that the restaurant was fully packed except there were two seats available at the bar and honestly I was thinking about like telling them the host if you don't have anything available i can just sit at the bar because i'm so early and she was just like oh um if you like you can but we also have uh, a, a few tables left and i was just like oh and you know what i could have sat at the bar but i wanted to feel a little uncomfortable and make this look like feel real and sit by myself because honestly I never done that before I don't think this will be like my first time sitting at a restaurant like this kind of restaurant at night and it was a little awkward and intimidated at first but then I got sat next to this group of girls and this restaurant is a small so everybody was very close to each other so I started blogging in the beginning uh, and one of the girls was so sweet she was like 
do you want me to take a picture of you? And I was like, oh no, um, I wasn't taking a picture, I'm blogging. And they were just like laughing and asking me about my camera. They were sweet and to be honest, it can be a little intimidating if, you know, you are transgender and I am transgender but I'm like already four years, five years into my transition. Um, so for me, I felt a little more confident on uh, going in. To be honest, no one was really like staring me up and down. No one really cares. I was just sitting by myself, enjoying my time. The server did not ask any questions. I hate when they like ask, oh, is anyone else joining you? He didn't even ask that. So that was like kind of like sweet, you know, that he knew that it was just like a one top um, reservation just for one person. So overall, my experience was great. I had the glass of wine, two appetizers, my pizza. And honestly, then I just like paid for the check and left because I already ate too much and I didn't want to ask for dessert. So I think everything went well and I felt very confident towards the end. I definitely can do this again. And I just wanted to put myself out there and make myself a little uncomfortable because that's how you learn and you gain more confidence by doing things like this, putting yourself out there. So don't worry about what people think just go out and be yourself go on solo dates i hope you guys enjoy this vlog and let me know if you end up going on a solo day in the comments below follow me on instagram at nina patron 89 like comment and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i love you guys i'll see you on the next vlog Mwah.